Hi, 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 hi. Mariano Gomez here, the Dynamic TV Globster. Today I want to talk about passing collections from Power Apps to Microsoft Flow. Many times we're faced with the challenge of being able to work with records in mass from Power Apps and then having to process these in Flow. So instead of finding workarounds or pass through mechanisms that allow us to get data partially into some other storage unit, we can actually leverage collections and the new JSON function to get records from Power Apps to Microsoft Flow. So let's see how that's done. So here I have my utility billing center application I created in Power Apps using form processing and AI builder. And um, what you're seeing here is I'm gonna just go ahead and select a bill. A utility bill is a um, JPEG file that I'm going to run through form processing. So uh, the idea here is I'm going to extract the field values from this particular form which is provided by my garbage utility company. So as you can see here now I have all the fields except for the bill number. As a second example I'm going to choose my utility, um, my electric utility vendor and I'm going to select a bill from uh, that particular vendor as well and um, finally you will see that um, I also get the same fields but this time I'm missing the due date this is because this particular bill is set on auto pay so there's no particular due date on it um, what I'm gonna do then is when I click the send to GP button I'm gonna capture a JSON payload that I can then uh, parse out in flow um, that's for the collection that is bound to the gallery. So let's see a little bit of that. So if I select the send to GP um, button here, you will see that I have actually implemented a formula. This is um, that's basically going to capture that JSON payload using the JSON function, and um, it's referring to the collection itself. And I'm actually setting that value, that JSON payload value, to the bills JSON. Uh, global variable. I have actually moved that variable out to a second screen where it's easier to see. So here in this particular screen I have this particular payload that um, that was created for me. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna open Visual Studio Code and in Visual Studio Code I'm gonna paste this um, payload that was created by my Power Apps application. And what I'm gonna do a little bit is I'm gonna do some formatting on this JSON document. So I'm just gonna choose JSON here from the drop down just to format the whole thing. And I'm gonna highlight and format the selection. This is done fairly similar to how you format the um, document in Power Apps or how you format an expression. So here I'm missing the bill number, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add that bill number that did not come across from the first document. And um, I'm just gonna assign a blank value to it right now. Then um, what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna complete the bottom document because that one came in without the due date. So if you remember, the due date was empty. So I'm just gonna add the due date field here. And that sort of normalizes um, the serialized collection from Power Apps. I'm just going to assign an arbitrary value now, and I have a full set of documents with a complete set of fields from both sides. What I'm going to do here now is I'm going to copy this uh, XM, uh, this JSON content, go back to Power Apps, and we're going to return to the um, the screen where I have my submit to GP button. Okay, and um, let me try and locate this again. Just uh, click on, uh, there we go, send to GP. And uh, what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna make this button execute the flow action. So we're just gonna go over here to the action menu and choose flows. And we're gonna create a new flow. 
Okay, while the flow design surface loads, um, I don't want to interact with any of these templates, so I'm just going to create my own flow from blank. Um, so let's go over here to my flows and click the new button. And um, we're going to select automated from blank. So once we click on this, um, I, we can skip this initial part. Don't have to enter any value right now. Um, our first trigger though is going to be a power ups trigger. So I'm just going to go ahead and type power ups in here and uh, select the, the trigger from the list of triggers. That's it. Um, now I'm going to add a new step. And uh, from here, I'm just going to add the parse JSON action. So that's a data operation that's going to come in from the content from Power Apps. So here in my um, dynamic content, I'm just going to ask from in Power Apps to um, obtain that particular field. Now we're going to paste the um, the payload that we created uh, to obtain a schema. And now that schema should have all the different fields. You can just scroll through the, um, the pane to ensure that you have everything that you need. And, um, but it should contain all the fields, including those two fields that were missing from each one of those documents. I'm gonna add a new step. And here I just wanna add a uh, apply for each because um, we're gonna, select from our dynamic content the body which is the result set from the parse operation and uh, what we want to do then is I want to add a compose action that's going to in essence uh, allow me to focus my attention on a specific area of that JSON uh, document. In this particular case I want to focus on the form content so we're going to select that from the um, list of dynamic content actions and um, what we're gonna do here then is we're gonna add a variable but first we gotta initialize it outside of the apply for each um, or apply to each structure so I'm just gonna leave that on hold for now I'm gonna add an action select variables from the list and what I want to do is I want to initialize a variable for the account number field. I chose to select the account number for now because um, that is um, very simple to work with. It's just for you to see. So we're going to type account number here and um, that's a type string that we're going to choose from the list. So as for value, we're just going to leave it as is for now. So um, we're going to initialize it with a blank value. Then we're going to go back to uh, add a step and in this case I'm going to add the set variable where I'm going to choose the account number itself and set that to the account number field that was passing from that JSON document. So very simple, very easy to deal with. At this point you can call just about any um, other uh, you know, routine you would like. But I'm going to test this. So I'm going to name this first. We're going to call this um, my um, collection uh, pass, pass through, my collection pass through. So we're just going to save this for now. Uh, we're going to return to Power Apps so we can link up our application to the flow. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove this, um, this form formula for now. I'm just going to probably just pick it on the clipboard. Uh, but I'm gonna link a flow to that uh, GP send to GP button. Now I'm gonna click on flows here, and I'm gonna select the my collection pass, which is being added now by Power Apps. And um, once the formula bar is refreshed, I can then paste my set builds JSON um, formula that I had before. I'm just gonna remove the set portion of it. And now I'm left with the um, serialized uh, collection um, that I wanted to pass in. Okay, great. Let's just test this out. I'm going to select a uh, build quickly here. That's going to be, uh, I'm just going to choose the JPEG image. So we're just going to go to my pictures folder and click on build the JPEG. That's going to be, again, sent through form processor 
and all the fields are going to be parsed out back to that gallery. Um, now I'm going to click to send to GP and you will see now that this will execute my flow. So all I got to do is hop over back to flow and I can backtrack myself a little bit here and um, see that that flow succeeded. So let's open the execution and look at the compose. We can see that that's been parsed out nicely for us. And uh, we can see the set variable for the account number set to the actual account number that was on that document. So I think that concludes my demonstration. Uh, from there on, you can push this to SharePoint, Microsoft Dynamics GP, any other ERP you want. Uh, thank you for watching.